Welcome back to Tesh Kid FX for another AGIX price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the AGIX chart which at the time of this recording has managed to break above the 20 day MA. We have continued to show a lot of strength to continue pushing even higher and that is evident even here on trading view where you can see that the market is up by 14.01% which means we are showing a lot of strength to continue pushing even even higher. We have also continued to obey the editor structures where we have fully maximized our yellow target area down here in the formation of this way 4 and I now believe that whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of a massive bounce to the upside in the formation of this way 5 and before I get further into the technical analysis and also give you my next price targets here on the AGIX chart first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to continue with the video here on the day on the for our chat by first giving you a quick recap of what has been happening where you can see that AGIX after making its lower low down there we started this massive bounce to the upside obeying the edu two structures where you can see that we made our peak in the formation of that with one at around the 0.13534 dollar mark and after seeing the high for that with one we started this corrective structure in the formation of that with two and after seeing the low for that second wave we started this bounce to the upside in the formation of this with three in a move that has now given us a peak at around the 0.677 dollar mark and in the formation of that with three which is an important impulsive wave we also saw the formation of this five wave structure in formation in yellow having the wave five fully maximizing our target areas to the upside in the formation of that wave three and after seeing the high for that wave three whatever we expected next is a corrective structure in the formation of that wave four and using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the second wave to the high of that with three that gave me a minimum retestment area in the formation of that with four between the fib level 0.382 and the fib level 0.5 which lies between the 0.43276 dollar mark and the 0.35706 dollar mark which is a target area that we fully maximized and after fully maximizing it whatever we expect next is this bounce to the upside in the formation of these with five and i believe that is what is playing out and by first sketching out minimum target areas to the upside in the formation of that with five by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave down there to the high of that with one then dragging the fibs to the high of that with three that gave me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that with five at the fib of 1.618 and that is at around the 0 0.84 532 dollar mark and that is the minimum that i'm expecting agix to do in the formation of this wave five and in the formation of that wave five which is an impulsive wave i'm also expecting to see another five wave structure in formation having the wave five of the fractal wave fully maximizing our target areas at around the 0 0.84 dollar mark in the formation of that wave five and here on the agix chart i believe we are seeing such a scenario over here where we are seeing a fractal wave within the formation of that wave five and if I draw it out, you can see that after making our low in the formation of these wave four, we saw this bounce to the upside, making a peak at around the 0 0.5 dollar mark in what I'm terming as the high for that first wave to the upside. So we can have that as the wave one. Then we started this corrective structure in a move that has now given us a low in the formation of that wave two. And I now believe that whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of an explosive move to the upside in the formation of that with three before we can expect a wave four and then push even higher in the formation of that with five and getting to see whether the second wave did the minimum that we expect a second wave to the lower side to do by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the first wave to the high of that with one that gave me a minimum retestment area between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.618 and that is between the 0 0.41 seven seven dollar mark and the 0 0.39769 dollar mark which is the target area that we fully maximized and yesterday we saw a break below the fib level 0 0.618 and the fib level 0 0.618 continued to hold and you can see that after making our low at now at around the 0 0.37918 dollar mark we are seeing a massive bounce to the upside in what i'm terming is the formation of these with three and sketching out its minimum target areas by connecting the fibonacci's from the low of the first wave to the high of that with one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that with three at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0 
1.6504 mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting AGIX to do in the formation of this wave 3 and you can see we have started that explosive move to the upside in a move that has now given us a break above the 20 day MA and the next high that I'm watching over here is at around the 0.5 dollar mark so given that we have the support of the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart I'm expecting AGIX to continue pushing even higher break through the next key area that is the significant high at around the 0.5 dollar mark which is the wave 1 high and once you break above it then that will be enough evidence that whatever we are seeing over here is the formation of this wave 3 and we are going to fully maximize our target areas in the formation of that wave 3 and that is at around the 0.65255 dollar mark and once the wave 3 high is in then we can expect a wave 4 and then push even higher in the formation of that wave 5 to give us a peak at around the 0.84 dollar mark so that is what I'm expecting here on the short term scenarios continue watching the wave 1 high at around the 0.5 dollar mark cause a break above it could trigger even higher prices and that will be enough confirmation that whatever we are seeing is that with three to the upside here on the AGIX chart so that is what I'm expecting on the short term scenarios and also taking a look at the indicators to see what movements will be supported on the RSI so here on the RSI we are trading at around the 61 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices in the formation of that wave 3 and also taking a look at the MACD here on the MACD we have been able to print a bullish cross and we are also seeing a bit of an increase in the buying volume here on the MACD fully supporting higher prices in the formation of that higher edge to wave count 3 so, th so that means our indicators here are supporting higher prices in the formation of that wave 3 also taking a look at the volume indicator we are also seeing a massive increase in the buying volume here on the volume indicator which is an indication that we are going to continue pushing even higher continue unlocking higher prices and also fully maximize our target areas to the upside in the formation of that with three so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll be keeping you updated